I've previously done a video on how to add tables in documents, but uh, they've added a couple new features, so I wanted to show you how those worked. So the first thing you need to do is add a table to your document. I'm going to go up to Table, Insert Table, and you can choose um, however big you'd like your table to be. So once you choose the size, it will insert the table for you, and you can add in text wherever it is that you want to add in text by just clicking in the individual cells. Now, um, a new cool new feature, uh, if you go up to more when you're clicked in a cell, you can edit just individual parts of the table. So if I want to change just the background of one particular cell, I can do that there. Um, I can also change the border color if I'd like to see a different color hard to see. I'll make it blue. Um, and you can also change the border width from here. So here I have a uh, wider border as well as even the type. Now one of the cool new features that I absolutely love when working with tables uh, is I can also now select multiple cells, right click on it, and if we go down you can do your typical table in search, inserting and deleting, but you can also merge cells. So when I merge cells, what it does is it put this, puts the two cells together, but it does not change the size of the particular cells. It doesn't change how high the rows are or how low the column or, or how uh, wide the columns are. And uh, once you're in there, you can see that going to copy this. You can see that it goes over where the uh, particular column was and it all looks like one particular cell. But again, it didn't really edit any of the other table properties. Some other things that you might notice are you can also see a drop down uh, arrow appear. When you click on the drop down arrow, you can change some of the border features that you have. Um, you can have it be a border around all of it, you can have it just be a border around part of it, and uh, so on and so forth depending on what it is that you want. So that's some of the cool new advanced features. If you do not like your merge cells, you can always right click in there and unmerge your cells and uh, that will take away the particular cells that you have and because I edited the borders after I had the borders changed it added in that same styling that I had. Uh, the one last thing I wanted to show you that was new is uh, sometimes you might have columns or rows that are different heights just by dragging you can change the height of a particular row or the width of a column but um, if you do that and you decide you change your mind, I don't want it like that, or I want them all to be the same size, you can select your entire table, right click, and go down to distribute rows or distribute columns. Distributing rows makes each row the same height within your particular table. So you can see I had extended the table's actual height, and so by distributing it, it distributed that extra height accordingly. You can also right-click and distribute columns, and that will make the columns all the same width as well. So those are a couple of cool new features when you are using tables in Docs.